we've chosen our post box site. We are going to now clear any of the turf and weeds and prepare the area for planting. I'm continuing to loosen up the soil to make it easier to insert our plant material. So now I'm just gonna take out some of the some of the turf that was there just to clean it up and tidy it up a bit. Not really changing the composition of the soil very much. Now here we are, we have a nice prepared planting bed. We have chosen five plants that we feel are particularly well suited to this site. Um, we are going to put them in a placement based upon their growing habits. So the taller ones will be in the back and the shorter ones will be in the front. Remember odd numbers always work better than even numbers. In our particular plot here we've chosen smaller plants. Um, they do adjust well. However, if you would like something fuller and more showy right off the bat, you're going to have to choose some larger plants. Um, if you have a little bit more patience um, and a lower budget, you should start with perhaps plug and Sandra will demonstrate the best way how to use plugs in your garden. We're going to dig a hole that is larger than the pot of the plant that we have. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this pot in, make sure that that hole is good. I'm going to loosen up the soil so those roots have a nice soft medium to work through and get well established. So it's always a good idea to pre-water your hole before you put your plants in to make sure those roots get a nice drink. It's always a little shocking for them to be put in the ground from the pot. To remove the plant properly from its pot, um, you want to first loosen the soil around the edge. You want to check to make sure there aren't any roots growing through the holes. And if there are, just remove them to make it a little bit looser. Sometimes I like to tap the sides of the pot to make it easy to pop out. You put your fingers here and gently support the stalks of the plant, tip it over, squeeze it out gently, and then observe the root structure. If it's packed tightly, you want to kind of scratch it up a bit, loosen up those roots, get some air in there, make sure that they can spread out once they're put in the hole. Now we want to make sure that the crown is just above the level of the soil. We don't want it below the soil. We want it just popping up the top. And after you backfill in your hole, you want to make sure that you have a bit of a saucer. So what you do is you make it just a little round. Think like a saucer, not a volcano. And this way, when it rains naturally, the water will just sit there and gently seep down into those roots. For these particular plants, because they're natives, they like this lean, dry, tough soil to grow in. So we're gonna keep that consistent and we're not adding any soil amendments. They don't need it. Now we're going to do just a gentle watering just to make sure that um, everybody gets a little drink after it's been transplanted. For the first few weeks or months, make sure that some undesirable weeds don't move in. In order to make sure that our small mailbox garden patch gets well established and stays undisturbed, um, we have put in a delineal marking border. And I always like to use kind of whatever materials that we have on hand and here in Bedford, what better to use than stones? And so here's a garden that I started last year, and believe it or not, they started off this big last year. They're little baby plants called plugs. And in just one year, they've grown so big that you can tell it's a huge difference. So today I want to show you how easy it is to just kind of fill in some holes and also how to add more texture and color into your garden. So here I've got some agastache, I've got some monarda, and I've got some calamagrossus. And here I've got some low-growing bruelias, and we need to fill it in with a little bit of juice. So I'm going to add some Asclepias incarnata, and I've got a plastic knife that's reusable for this purpose, and it's really easy to just slide around the sides of your cell and 
loosen it up. I've got my weed digger or you can use a hand trowel. And I've got my pruner's just in case. And it's really easy. All you need to do is make a hole. This will be about the size of your plug, which is about five inches deep and about three inches wide. Okay. And then I've got my plastic knife again. Just gonna loosen the sides. much better to work with plugs than big containers. So here we go. Put it in. What I can do while I'm placing it in is take my pruners and just clip off any old growth. Add it around the side and you're done. You'll want to add some water when you're done planting. Unless it's gonna rain, you can just let it let it be. But it's really easy with these native perennials because they're um, grown really robust, and that's why we want to work small and then wait till the plants grow big following year. And there you go.